high school students, studying for standardized tests can be more time consuming than going to class, but those tests will determine what college they get into. Now there's an alternative to long hours in tutoring sessions. New this morning, CBS 2 Sonia Ricon shows us a high tech way for students to study on the go. With piano lessons, band practice, and lots of homework, high school junior Miki Lim says mobile apps are the perfect way for her to prepare for college entrance exams. I like these apps because they were extremely convenient, and wherever I was or whatever I was doing, I could just take my phone out. There are practice vocabulary tests and drills to test math and logic skills, and experts say these test-taking apps have exploded in popularity. There are more students using uh, test preparation technologies than ever before. And the stakes for students to do well are high. Merit scholarships are a very powerful source of financial aid for qualified students, and SAT and ACT scores play a big part in the awarding of these scholarships. Part of the app's appeal, they're much less expensive than test prep courses or private tutors, but test expert Mark Greestein says the use of apps should be limited and only used by a certain type of student. I think of apps as a real benefit, a huge benefit to the highly motivated student. I still don't want them to be the only form of test prep that people do. Greestein says apps can't replace one-on-one -on -one interaction students get from a test prep teacher and that there's no substitute for taking actual practice tests. The SAT is still done on eight and a half by 11 sheets. There's still answer sheets that you bubble in. So I really want students to get acclimated to the real thing. If you do use test prep apps, experts say before you download, always look at reviews and feedback about them. Sonia Rincon, CBS2 News.